I think it's Starport's actually creating another uh, dropship right now, and uh, he's getting some tanks. So we'll see if he decides to go for a Vulture drop or a tank drop. But like I said, Grimtoe's going to be a little more prepared for this. And Grimtoe has a shuttle of his own here. Um, we'll see if he decides to go for a drop of some sort. Uh, looks like he doesn't have a, a robotic support bay. He's just getting more gateways. And a Zealot drop could be possible. Looks like he's getting a forge. So possibly thinking of getting some cannons at his expansion uh, or his main to prevent against a vulture drop. And that would be a good idea because Boxer is, of course, known for his dropship play. And Boxer getting two, drop, uh, two tanks into that dropship. <coughs> Excuse me. Meanwhile, um, a gate, a, uh, a shuttle and four Dragoons going down for Kurimto, and actually he's going to catch Boxer without many units in space because that dropship is loaded and uh, moving down. Boxer is going to spot this incoming force with this engineering bay. Engineering bay forced to retreat here, um, and Boxer is uh, reaching around for the expansion base of Grimto, where Grimto doesn't have anything right now, so he might lose a lot of probes here at this expansion. Um, uh, if Boxer decides to drop it immediately, and I think he should. Uh, only one only one tank up for Boxer, though, and it's being dropped by a Zealot, and uh, that, that tank's going to go down. This is the only defense that Boxer has at his uh, expansion. And now the expansion's in trouble. Both players' expansion's in trouble. Boxer not dropping, though. Oh, man, this is a huge mistake for Boxer. Boxer not dropping. Uh, perhaps he, he had told the dropship to drop at the corner and just wasn't enough space for him to drop. In any case, the probes have run away, and now Boxer's as if he's retreating from his natural expansion. Grimto taking a definite advantage here. Um, I'm not sure what Boxer's doing with his dropship, and both players just... Uh, Oh, what is Boxer doing with his dropship? I don't know. Oh, it looks like he's forced to retreat because of those Dragoons. And uh, Boxer in big trouble now. Um, he doesn't have really a way of dealing with this uh, attack here, of regaining his natural expansion. Because uh, Grimto has a lot of Dragoons there. And uh, now Grimto's uh, mining again from his natural expansion, which Boxer can't do. Um, I'm not sure what Boxer is thinking right now to do with this dropship. I feel like he needs to get another dropship and uh, go from another direction because that direction is pretty much sealed off by those Dragoons. And yeah, the Dragoons now coming in and trying to kill off these uh, tanks. It kills one tank and Boxer uh, kills one of the Dragoons, but uh, uh, his, the element of surprise is surely lost by now and Grimto is going to be pretty much prepared at uh, his expansions. I do think this tank has range on the probes and it looks like it will be able to siege some of the probes on some of the uh, mining patches, uh, but a, a photon cannon going down in that natural expansion, that's going to be able to prevent Boxer from dropping a tank directly among those probes, or dropping anything among those probes, and it looks like Dragoons here are coming to kill off that tank. Um, Grimto going for a uh, expansion at the uh, 9 o'clock position, I mean the 12 o'clock position, there is a mineral-only expansion there, um, and Boxer is uh, down to one base. It seems like he may have floated his command center back towards his natural expansion there. Um, I'm not sure if it's landed, I can't really see just based on the minimap, but Grimto taking a definite lead in this first game here, uh, just attacking exactly at the right time when Boxer's troops were out of his base, and also defending well against Boxer's drop there. You know, I, I feel it was a bit of a mistake by Boxer though, um, not to drop correctly, not to drop quickly when Grimto wasn't prepared. He allowed enough Grimto enough time to um, really just get his uh, dragoons out and to get his probes away from that base, hence pre uh, preventing him from doing anything. And now <laughs> Boxer's dropship is trapped there in the corner. Um, dragoons surrounding him in all sides, and he's just forced to uh, sit there. Um, yeah, nothing really he can do about it. And it looks like Grimto is just taking a firm lead here. Three bases to two. I think Boxer does have his uh, natural expansion back now. Um, but he really lost some mining time and a number of SCVs during that attack, and he has a much smaller army than Grimto. Grimto setting up another photon cannon. It looks like Boxer's finally getting his SCVs to be uh, uh, sent back towards his natural expansion. Boxer does have about five or six factories, and now he's getting an academy, uh, probably for scans. Um, but now Grimto, it looks like Boxer actually has a dozen vultures. It'll be important to see what Boxer can do with these vultures. But like I said, that photon cannon is going to prove critical because photon cannons are so good at stopping vulture rushes uh, into the base. And now it looks like Boxer is trying to go for an attack here, planting a lot of mines. Um, his vultures are fully upgraded. It uh, looks like he's going to try and attack these dragoons, but uh, there's just a couple dragoons here and a photon cannon. He might take down a number of probes here if he micros correctly. Looks like he does take about three or four probes down. Um, and now a huge minefield uh, having been laid there. Uh, uh, Bok uh, Grimto really can't drop any forces to help, but that one photon can is really limiting the uh, mobility of these vultures from getting in amongst that uh, expansion. Now Boxer going for a main attack here. This will prove critical. Boxer uh, has about four tanks moving in also, and now th this is a main attack here. Um, Grimto does have that shuttle though, and Boxer doesn't have any anti-air. He's uh, forced to do the sort of slow attack there. Uh, ooh, that's really terrible for him. The vultures being dropped, dropped and killing two of the tanks, and uh, and uh, the turret still isn't up yet to deal with uh, to give some anti-air. 
Boxer's attack fails here. All the tanks are going to go down here. Um, and Zealotson is still alive there. Uh, looks like just a couple of vultures coming up to reinforce. And like I said, Boxer doesn't have anti-air, uh, so he's forced to use this um, slow push using uh, missile turrets to provide anti-air. Looks like more Dragoons are coming down here, and I think they're going to kill off this uh, forward turret before Boxer can get any more tanks up, and he's going to stop this attack here. Vulture Mines just not being too effective, and actually hurting Boxer quite a lot because that drop... Um, Man should get lure those mines into Boxer's tanks and uh, and kill I think at least one of them just through mines alone. Um, looks like uh, Boxer has more mines here, but these uh, these mines really are double-edged sword here. Um, Boxer needs to get some glides or maybe even a wraith to deal with these uh, shuttles because the uh, shuttles otherwise they're just going to be able to stop uh, Boxer's advance. And looks like another shuttle coming in here, probably with more vultures, and we'll see if it manages to trigger more mines. Uh, shuttle going down here. Uh, looks like looks like uh, zealots being dropped here. Uh, two zealots and the shuttle goes down actually so not doing that much damage this time um, and it looks like uh, the Dragoon's going down trying to kill these uh, tanks again. Boxer needs to just bring up as many tanks as possible or else he's not going to be able to sustain this tank but looks like he's actually managed to kill all these Dragoons so this sort of slow intensity this low intensity fight sort of um, going back and forth here at this mineral expansion two tanks here for Boxer um, and I think wh whichever player manages to mass up a couple of forces will win this little battle here because, uh, because uh, right now both are just streaming in a couple of reinforcements at once Boxer trying to make some more turrets to deal with these observers also. That's actually quite clever because the observers won't be able to spot for the mines uh, if there's enough turrets. And it looks like an observer does go down for Boxer. Boxer des desperately trying to get more missile turrets to sustain his advance here. And um, looks like Grimto actually getting a gateway, a proxy gateway, or not a proxy, but a hidden gateway at the 1 o'clock position. We'll see if he manages to get some units into Boxer's flank from that direction. Boxer not seizing his four tanks. It looks like a, look up, looks like about 10 Dragoons versus four tanks here and a couple of vultures. Uh, and Zealot's rushing in here. Um, oh man, the, the mine's blowing up a tank there, and only two tanks remaining for Boxer. Are they going to be able to hold here? I'm not sure. Uh, one tank left for Boxer. I feel that Grimto could have taken that tank out if he decided to push, but he's decided to retreat a little bit, and he manages to take out most of Boxer's army again, so Boxer unable to advance towards his position, and uh, <laughs> Boxer building a supply depot at the 1 o'clock position, Grimto building two gateways. I don't know what's going on up there. <laughs> Boxer may be building a supply depot to spot. Anyway, um, Morzell is coming in here, attacking the... Um, Attacking the uh, the the one tank remaining. All the tanks are down here. So now Grimto. Oh uh, no! Actually, two tanks coming in for Boxer. Never mind. Uh, but Boxer losing a couple of missile turrets there. So this is a really interesting advance. This is way different from what we'd see today. At this point today, we'd probably see um, we'd probably see Protoss going carriers actually, <laughs> and Terran certainly would be uh, getting some anti-air. Probably Goliaths instead of using his missile turrets. And uh, looks like a lot of zealots coming down here. Um, looks like they're they're going to try to tank all these tanks down. They're having some success here. Only one tank remaining, but all the zealots getting killed by vultures just in time. So just a stalemate here at this uh, at this zone here. And it's really up to Boxer to win. He really needs to take this down because he is uh, behind economically. And looks like that vulture getting killed to that uh, pro that photon cannon. I feel that Boxer really needs to kill that photon cannon. That actually is proven critical in Grimtol's defense here. Uh, if he can kill those uh, that photon cannon, he really brings some vultures in. Quick raid the uh, the the minerals um, mineral line there and it looks like boxer uh, has just two tanks and just more back and forth here wow it's just a lot of fighting going on and neither side really taking a huge advantage here in this battle um, I feel that in modern game perhaps players would have uh, would be attacked would be